Hey guys, how's it going? It's Miguel here. And today I want to talk about the number one brain retraining exercise that helped me recover the most. And so, you know, if I were to list all the exercises that I did for brain retraining, like I'd lose track of them. There are probably a dozen or so, but the number one exercise that helped and the one that my doctor said that would help the most that he had me doing it every day when I was in recovery was this exercise where I visualize the pain centers in my brain increasing and glowing and then kind of dimming out and the light going down. So what does that mean? What are even the brain centers in the brain? What is that? So they did studies showing that there's 16 centers in your brain meant for processing pain. Now I'm going to break it down. Basically your brain has 16 pain centers. Now these centers are not just for pain, they're also for processing other senses like smell, taste, touch, sound, things like that. I'll list the rest right here. But essentially those areas in your brain are meant for processing all of those things along with pain. So what happens is over time, if you're in chronic pain, you're constantly feeling pain over long periods of time. What happens is, you know, typically maybe it's like 10% pain, 90% senses well in extreme cases those areas of your brain can actually shift to 50 percent pain processing and 50 percent sensory processing so what that means is you could hear a sound you could see a bright light you could feel a touch and it will actually process pain which is crazy that explains why when you hear loud sounds when you're in lots of bright settings maybe someone turns the lights on maybe something's too noisy it can cause headaches and things like that that's because it triggers the pain centers in your brain it's too stimulating for you so there's an article written by dr moscow i believe it's pronounced moskowitz essentially it's talking about how to retrain the brain and see the problem with most people is they want things that have immediate results now if you want something that's immediate results obviously the easiest thing is inhaling, exhaling, doing deep breathing exercises. But if you do that alongside with this, you'll, you'll get some pretty solid results, but to get lasting results to the point where you no longer have to practice them and the results you feel them kind of indefinitely, you need to practice some kind of brain retraining for chronic pain specifically. You need to practice it for four to six weeks without seeing any results for it to have an effect. And that's why most people, it's so hard for them to get out of that chronic pain pattern. Sorry, I feel like there's something crawling in the bushes behind me. Anyways, it, it typically people need to be dedicated and motivated to get rid of the pain. And what happens is in that article, he specifically says, you need to see every episode of pain as an opportunity to, to rewire your brain. And so for me, I remember when I started really get, getting better, I would push myself to actually look and try to cause these symptoms to come up. So that way, when I feel that pain, then immediately I'm, I'm trying to refocus my brain on something else and reshift it to something else. And so that's something I can touch on in another video, but essentially the exercise is, you wanna imagine these pain centers in your brain. Think about them like glowing areas. When you feel pain, let's say for me, a lot of it, it was like tension headaches and tension behind my eyes when I started getting better and I started looking at screens more so you want to close your eyes and imagine you inhale you imagine those centers in your brain glowing molten hot red when you inhale they glow more then when you exhale you see those kind of red areas just slowly fading away and you inhale again see those areas expanding exhale see those areas dimming down and so what that does it, it gives you it gives your body and your your brain, the feeling that it's in control and the feeling that, you know, it gives it power over the pain. Because, you know, so literally just try that right now. To try, you close your eyes, okay? Think about what kind of pain you're feeling. Feel that pain connecting to a certain area in your brain. It doesn't have to be a specific place, but just in your brain, feel where that pain is happening. I want you to see that glowing red hot dot. Inhale see that thing glowing just shining red hot exhale and see the light getting smaller and smaller and smaller and there's probably a little bit of light left so let's inhale again so inhaling you're, you're seeing it glow again but it's not glowing as bright exhale 
So now you'll see it dim even more to the point where there's just, you know, a little glimmer of red light. Inhale again, see all that red light glowing, feel that pain expanding. Exhale, feel that pain slowly going away. And now the light should almost not be visible. Now, now just visualize your brain being completely dark, no red at all. So your body should feel significantly better than it was just two minutes ago. And so you can feel right now the effects of something like this exercise where, you know, you're visualizing the pain and visualizing it going away. For me, let's, when I was in the hospital and they first taught me about this exercise, I was still in a wheelchair at that point. And it was helping me immediately. But then maybe 30 minutes, 60 minutes later, I would start feeling the headaches slowly coming back. And I would start, you know, feeling the symptoms slowly coming back, the painful legs, things like that but I would just keep practicing that. And over time, I, I had to do it less and less. So these kind of brain retraining exercise and meditation, it's very intense in the beginning of your recovery because you're really needing to get out of that hole. For me, it was, uh, it was a mixture of doing the brain retraining exercises, the a completely different environment I was in, which is, get this, pretty crazy, but I was in the hospital for four weeks in ICU, then they're like, okay, your liver, your body, your nerve tests are all completely fine. They check out. We have to send you home, but if you do want to stay here and work with a doctor one-on-one, -on -one, we have an extra room in the psychiatric ward. So if you're up for it, you, you can be a voluntary patient and stay there so you can learn from the doctor. Long story short, I stayed there for about three and a half weeks. Honestly, best time, one of the best, craziest, wildest, honestly, most fun times of my life. If you want me to break that down in another video, I could literally do a full-on story time, like 30 minutes long. We did some pretty crazy stuff in there, in a good way, it was great. Like, I made friends with all the people there. They were great people. I learned a lot. That was one of the turning points because it shifted my environment, but that's where I learned all of these things from my doctor because I got to work with him every day, which is the main reason I agreed to stay and stay in a place like that. But anyways, going off on, on a tangent here, back to the main point, that is the most impactful brain retraining exercise that worked for me that I saw results from that even to this day, if I think of one exercise that came up one exercise that one exercise that impacted me the most it, it had to be that specific exercise um i don't really have a name for it i should probably name it or something I should probably trademark it or i'm joking but yeah seeing those pain centers glowing and then diminishing it got to the point where you know i really understood that these episodes of pain were, were not negative things they're they're opportunities to rewire your brain um, you know, when your brain wants to go down one route of chronic pain, you rewire it and force it to go down another route. That's the whole point of neuroplasticity and brain retraining. You're retraining it to go a different route. So when you are experiencing, when you are experiencing this pain, you know, for me, I didn't see it as something negative. It got to the point where I was like, great, I got symptoms to work with. I can start, this is where the practice happens. Like this is literally the practice. This is where it counts the most when I'm in pain. And then over time, the pain was less and less. And like I said, I would even push myself so that I could feel symptoms so that I could, you know, work on retraining the brain. So maybe I'll do another video where I actually draw it on a diagram, the, what I mean by the pain centers and how, you know, it goes from 10% pain to 90% processing senses in extreme cases it goes to 50 percent pain 50 percent processing senses but i hope that helps a lot I'm, I'm sure it will we did that very quick exercise try that try that multiple times a day you know the more you do it the, the better you will get honestly it, it was it was honestly life-changing for me so if you enjoyed this video if you got some value out of it hit the like button below comment down what other kind of videos you would like to see me create other topics you want me to cover i have a bunch ready I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to release two to three of these a week, but just, you know, appreciate the support on the channel. You know, I do this to help you guys because, you know, I feel like I learned all of these things on my journey. So I just want to help you guys on your journey. Hopefully one day you'll be messaging me and we'll be laughing about this whole thing and being like, hey, remember that time when uh, I was super sick, reached out to you, you showed me this exercise and now I'm so much better. And that's actually happened with a couple people. You know, they've, they've felt better. One person in particular that's fully recovered. I'm looking at stories and she's like freaking partying now. So she really has her life back. She has a family, everything. But you know, if I can do it, if other people can get better, then I have no doubt that you can get better. Obviously your situation isn't exactly the same as mine. 
you might have different stressors, different things that make you tick, different they, different symptoms. But at the end of the day, you know, the brain is the brain, science is science. An exercise this will 100% help you move the needle forward and help you towards your full recovery. So I hope you have a great day. If you're struggling right now, then just, you know, stay strong, keep going. Watch my other videos where I talk about a few different topics. If you haven't already, I'm going to say this in every video, but watch the main video where I break down the science to my recovery. It's where I talk about almost everything. I give a general overview of everything the doctor taught me. It's not super in depth, but you know, it's a very general of all the different ideas he taught me. And it's a lot of people have found it very helpful. If you want to reach me personally, just reach out to me on Instagram. My handle is at Miguel Bautista Media. Forgive me if I don't respond right away because I'm quite busy running my video business, but I love hearing back from you guys and giving back to you guys and giving you tools that will help you on your journey. So I'm just, so I'm signing off here. Stay strong and continue on your way towards a healthy and lasting recovery. I'll see you guys next time.